time to learn a battle drill. Hey, I am Chuck the Bureaucrat, and when I started this thread on space A travel, I promised that I would not tell too many horror stories. But like a lot of lessons, you learn them the hard way, and that's certainly true with this one. See, there's this thing about space A travel. It has a strong flavor of a military operation. And that's not just because you're on a military plane that has a military mission and you're surrounded by military people. Space A also has that military flavor because sometimes you have to make decisions incredibly rapidly. You and your family are going to have to take quick, decisive action, even though you're tired, confused, and disoriented. And what's more, you, your spouse, your seven-year-old boy, your 13-year-old daughter, all of you are going to have to behave in a coordinated and synchronized manner. So you're going to need battle drills, just routine actions that you take in immediate response to certain situations. And I'm telling you, the document check is one of the most fundamental battle drills that my family learned to use. There's these documents that you always want to have positive control over. Passports for every one of your family members, military ID for everybody who's 10 and older, driver's license for everybody who's got one. And the weird thing about these documents is that in normal day-to-day -day life, they kind of float around. My military ID is in my lanyard. My driver's license is in my wallet. My passport is in the safe. Sometimes my wife has her purse. Sometimes she doesn't. And in normal situations, it doesn't really matter that you can't lay your hands on these documents at a moment's notice, because if you had to, you could just go back and get them. <laughs> Not true when you're traveling internationally. You want to perform the document battle drill before and after every major movement. You're about to leave your hotel in Naples and drive to Florence? Do the document check. You just cleared customs in Ramstein? Do the document check. You just sprinted from Norfolk to Dover? Do the document check. And I'll tell you how Team Wico learned this the hard way. One time, we went racing out of our house in Northern Virginia and drove three hours to McGuire Air Force Base. We get there with about two hours to spare before roll call and walk up to the desk to check in. The first words out of the airman's mouth were, passports please. Oh my God, we left the passports on the kitchen table. It was three hours back to Virginia three hours back to McGuire to try to catch another flight. Not a happy night. So we got really good at the document check. Everybody show me your passports, your driver's license, your military ID. And what's funny about this is that even when you're traveling, these documents start floating around. Sometimes I'm carrying them all. Sometimes everybody has their own. Sometimes we lock them in a safe at a hotel. So trust me, it pays to be thinking and talking about these key documents routinely. Now, you can customize this a bit to fit your personal situation. I mean, after all, battle drills are about a group of people consistently doing the same thing so that they can accomplish the mission under all sorts of conditions. In fact, that's one of the reasons that I like Space A Travel. It gives my family a reason to function as a team, and it gives us some really great stories about where teamwork paid off. Now, if you're interested in some of the other benefits of traveling Space A, watch this video. And if you want another battle drill for how to handle a lost child, watch this video.